Alright, so, we have bought some mods recently from focusattack.com. Uh, that includes this bat top here. I'm gonna try not to dim the lights a little bit too much on us. And, uh, as we're a little screw there. And we also bought this, uh, Submitsu 2 pound spring that we're gonna put into the lever to make the stick a lot less wobbly. If you look at the stick right now, you do this, you can see that it shakes back forward, right? And that's just no good in the long run. So, we don't want that. So, we have the HRAF 4 uh, King of Fighters Special Edition here that is a little bit scruffy right now. But we're gonna ignore that for a sec. So, what you need to do this mod, besides lo-fi hip-hop in the Iron Lambo channel. Man, this thing's a mess. I should have uh, really cleaned this before I started streaming. Uh, so, what you need, besides your parts, you need your bad top that you order from FocusAttack.com. You need your spring, also from FocusAttack.com. And uh, you need your RK stick here, the HRAT4. Uh, the Hori Hayabusa stick is what we'll be modding. And um, yeah, we're gonna have to take it apart. Beyond that, you're gonna need a cup of apple juice so you can concentrate, take a sip. Add some good apple juice. Welch's baby. Um, and you're also gonna need a Phillips screwdriver. So we'll be doing that, we'll be taking this apart. Hopefully we're not going to be making too much of a mess. The thing about RK sticks is it does get scruffy or overuse, so we're just going to ignore that. I'm going to try to stop OCD and over cleaning this stick while we're live. So, alright, we are going to begin. I'm going to move this mic a little bit. Alright, so we're going to have to flip it over. And you're not going to want to rest the buttons on a desk. You know, I'll probably do this on my lap. Also, make sure your stick is disconnected first, right? So, yeah, move this in, and uh, I try to get this in such an angle that the uh, camera can see. Move back a little bit. You get a good chest shot here. There should be a bunch of screws here. I can't one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws. So we're just gonna go ahead and remove that with the Phillips screwdriver, not the flathead that I just grabbed. I have screwdrivers on my desk because reasons. Alright, I actually never modded a Hayabusa stick before, I modded a Sanwa JLF before, and uh, they're kind of similar, I don't imagine them being too different, so we're gonna find out when we take it, all, uh, take it apart. You're also gonna need a flathead screwdriver, because most levers are, require a flathead. I wish I could skip songs, this song's not particularly good, so that's three screws. Let me move this forward so you guys can see the screws. Uh, you don't want a long screwdriver for this because the action's kind of low and you're not gonna really have to reach too far in there. I would also recommend a cup of water because you don't want straight apple juice. Alright, so that's uh, seven, uh, six screws. If it was seven, it would have been all of them. Alright, so that should be the last of it. Now the plate doesn't come off that easily. You actually have to flip it and then catch it. So, flip it. Give it a good push and the plate comes off. Seven screws, one plate. Put this on my desk. And now we're gonna show you the insides. Alright, so this little guy here, this guy here, this is the stick that we're gonna be working with on modding, right? So, it looks like it's a little bit different from, um, uh, you were modded JLF. It looks like there is a cup thing over here, but I imagine if I remove this, this one's just gonna come right off. Now, we currently have a ball top, and we're gonna remove this, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So, you grab the ball, right? You grab the ball, you grab your flathead screwdriver, 
And then, uh, you take a look into the lever here, which is also a flathead. So, with your hand on the ball, you start loosening. This might be actually a little bit too big, maybe. I might need something smaller. This might actually be too big. Alright, so we found out that a flathead screwdriver that works for the JLF does not work for the Hayabusa. Yeah, that's not happening. I'm gonna get a thinner screwdriver, I'll be right back. I'm also gonna pick better music because this shit's cutting out. So that, that, that's already a misstep. We can't, we shouldn't have possibly known that beforehand. Um, I'm gonna change the lo-fi beats. Hopefully this doesn't sound like trash. Give me one sec to grab a screwdriver. Okay. Alright, so we got a blank socket screwdriver thing here. And we got our collection of uh, screw tip bits. So we will uh, try a medium sized one. Let's say 5 and 32nd inch. Bite stick modding, yeah! We're turning into that kind of stream. Alright, so like I said before, you grab it by the ball in the front with one hand, and you start turning with the other hand. So, this should fit. It does. So that's 5 and 32nd. 5.32 of an inch. And then you start turning this shit, right? So you get the ball loose. Eventually, you should be able to just keep this in here. And the ball would come right off. Decided to do something different for the stream today before I go back to my usual tech and shenanigans. Alright. Ball is loose now. So. I don't love you. Take, take the ball. Just the ball. You don't want anything else. Right, if you take anything else, it's gonna be a mess. You could take the, you know, washer thing out too, here, but you don't want to do that in general. How you doing, Mercy Gear Girls? Glad you just stopped by. Yeah, I will uh, totally stream the modding of adding the very cool evil special edition only button. Absolutely. I'll do that. Alright, so screwdrivers are also good for puncturing holes and plastic wrap. Or plastic wrappers. Not necessarily plastic wrap. So you get to see me open plastic packaging on stream. Very exciting. Yeah, no, um, really happy you got a chance to go to EVO. Like, most people only talk about it like me. So this is actually a lot more complicated than the previous stuff so far. Man, plastic packaging is my bane. Alright, so we got this aluminum, very heavy, um, bat top that we got from focusattack.com. Now this bat top by itself is not going to fit naturally into the Hayabusa shaft. Absolutely. If you could get other people that want to do a group EVO trip, I would totally go with you guys. No doubt. Alright, so the washer goes in first, I'd imagine. No, that doesn't make sense. It looks like it goes in the bottom. Alright, we just screw this part in first. So that has a firm fit, and that'll fit into the joystick. So we got this part. It's a connector. It's an adapter, so it fits into joysticks. We're gonna screw that in real fast like. And then we're gonna put this over here. So it doesn't get fucked up. Alright, we're gonna do what we did before. We're gonna start turning it in. But it's not gonna turn in unless... We uh, have a screwdriver. It's only, this is only gonna go so far in, it's not gonna be very tight. So we are screwed in almost entirely now. We're still gonna need the screwdriver. So we're gonna grab it by the shaft, the bat top, and then we're gonna have to tighten it with the screwdriver. So we're gonna do that now. Flip it over, grab it by the shaft, 
tighten that motherfucker. All right, and that is pretty tight. Um, and that's how you install a bat top. Now we have a bat top here. It's a little heavier and it's still doing that wiggling thing. Probably even more so because of how much more weight we have. Which is why we bought the resistance spring. This is why we bought the spring. So that it will go in and uh, bounce back at a normal speed. and Or maybe not bounce back at all. The dream is that it has the bat top on and there is no snapping back and forth. Alright, so how do we put in the spring? So first we have to zoom in on the stick itself, right? So, if you look at the stick, you look at it really closely, you will see, I'm trying to angle it with the lighting, it's hard to see with the lighting, but there is a little crevice here that you have to pull it out. And in the middle, next to the screw, is a notch that you can pull a circle out of it. Once you take the circle out, the entire um, bottom part of the joystick will come off with it. And then there's going to be a spring that comes out as well. Try not to lose any of the parts here. And then you pop in the new spring and we'll be done. So let's open up the spring bag first. Actually it's a Ziploc bag so it'll be easy. I'm going to put this to the side. Spring. This would be uh, t about two pounds. And now we are gonna use the same flathead screwdriver that we used before, and we're gonna try to pop the little circle out. I'll show the circle on the stream after I get it out. This part's the hard part. It's also nerve-wracking because it's a little bit difficult to do. Because you're gonna scratch some paint for sure getting this thing out. There's, if you guys know of an easier way of getting this thing out, please let me know. But right now, it's just brute force. And screwdrivers. Alright, so. Almost there. We are pulling it towards the tail end. Be very careful here. It's a good way you can hurt yourself. So, maybe just give it a nice little push. Try not to do any permanent damage here. Alright, looks well, pretty loose. Yes. One last push, and uh... Alright, so... Let me show you guys what we're working with now. When you take out the connection part, you... will have this... C piece. This is what was holding the whole entire thing together. Let's see if it uh, zooms okay. Alright, so we're gonna put this down. We're gonna have this thing, which keeps the stick from falling apart. And we're gonna have the original spring, which we're gonna keep away. Alright, so we're gonna put in the new spring into like the now very loose stick. So if you take a look over here, the stick is now very loose because it doesn't have a spring holding it together. Pop the motherfucker in. Pop this piece in to keep the spring down. It should uh, take a little bit of force because now you have two pounds of spring there. And finally, you're going to want to take the C piece and jam the motherfucker back in there. Hopefully you didn't warp the metal too much and it'll just fit right back in. So this piece, it goes between the screw and the spring so it's gonna require two hands and probably the help of a screwdriver to pound that thing back in so let's hope this goes smoothly there we go that's the snap and now that's it like if you hold 
So I, what I didn't do before was I didn't grab it by the new bat top. And I just tried to push it in with just my light and gravity. That wasn't it. So. I'm gonna bring this up to the camera again. You can see that the circle is now back over around the screw. And you just pop that motherfucker back in there. And now that the stick is a lot more firm than it used to be with the Sametsu spring. It looks like it's still wiggling a little bit. Maybe I should have bought a two pound spring. But if I used the original spring, it would have been a nightmare. So we're gonna close up here. This took 20 minutes ish. So we grab this, the plate, we line it back up, make sure there's no cables that are getting caught out in the open. All right. Make sure it's lined up correctly. All right, slap back in. Take your Phillips screwdriver again. And start putting them back in. And this should be the fastest part. Yeah, Evil this year was pretty good. Uh, Blaze Green was really hype. Smash, uh, Smash 4 Finals was really hype. I didn't watch Melee. I'm kind of super done with Melee. So we're just putting the screws in right now. That there was coffee stains on the stick. I don't know how the fuck coffee stains got on the bottom side of the stick, but here we are. I should have probably gone for plastic top. The, um, the aluminum top is actually really heavy. Gives you a lot of extra weight to push. Alright, two more screws left. I use two hands to align the screws because, you know. it easier for me. You can put in screws however you want. Alright, that about wraps it up. We gotta take a look at the final product. We're gonna bring it up to the stream. Cool. So, it's a little bit firmer and it's also a little bit looser too. Because the bat top is super heavy. But it's a lot firmer than originally. It's still shaking a little bit. But maybe we want a little leeway. But it feels great. It feels very solid. I bought the aluminum part. Um, so like it has a lot more weight than the plastic part. So this is what we started off with. This is what we put in. And um, we also have the original spring. This is a completely different spring. Now you have a bat top and you can play it American style. American arcades have bat tops. And uh, you teach your relive your childhood like, I, like I'm doing. Feels good, man. All right. That, probably gonna end it for the YouTube video for the stream I'm gonna probably play some tech in now but take a look at this shit looks good all right if you guys are watching the YouTube video thanks for watching guys anyways let's switch this over to tech in